Hey, yes, my name's Dr. Lovely. What's your name? Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. I remember you. Um, so I don't know how much my nurses told you beforehand, but I just plan on doing a checkup on you, your yearly checkup. I did have a few questions to get before we do that. So I'm just going to get those um, answers from you really quick. Um, so, what's your, uh, name? Your first and last name? And then, what's your age? Wow, really? You don't look a day past 30. Okay. And what's your gender? Um, and then when is the last time that you got a checkup? Like, do you remember what year it was? Okay. Okay. I think that's all the questions I had. Um, I really just want to get into the checkup so I don't waste your time. So, um, throughout the checkup, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, let me know. But it should be a pretty simple checkup process, and I don't expect anything to be wrong with you, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to check your blood pressure and make sure that that's within normal ranges. So I have my blood pressure cuff here. And then I also have my stethoscope where I'm just going to be listening to your heart while I check your blood pressure. So, just put this on. Do you prefer a certain arm? Okay, you don't care. Perfect. So I'm just going to um, put this around your arm here. And you're just going to feel a tight squeeze around your arm, okay? And just go ahead and relax for me. Very good. Okay, perfect. Great, so your blood pressure looks completely normal within range, so we'll move on to the next um, part of the examination. So the next thing I'm going to do is just take your temperature. Um, so I have this thermometer here. And I'm just going to place this right under your tongue. So go ahead and open wide for me. Okay, let's see what this is. can see, 38 degrees Celsius. Um, so within a normal temperature, good. Have you had a fever within the past 30 days? Okay, good. Okay, 
So next, I am going to look at your inside your ears, your nose, and your throat. All those things are kind of tied together. So I'm going to be using this tool right here. It has a flashlight in it. Um, so I'm just going to be using this tool to do that. So first I'm going to look inside of your ears just to make sure everything is all clear. You don't have any gunk in there or anything like that. Have you had any um, hearing issues? Okay, good. So I'll do this ear, this ear first. Let me look here. Hmm. Okay. So that ear looks clear. Let me look at let me take a look at the other one over here. Let me see. think your ears are clear and if you're not having any issues hearing then it probably means your ears are pretty clear or clean so now I'm gonna go ahead and look take a look into your nose I know this is kind of weird a lot of my patients um, don't like this part but it is necessary so I'm gonna use the same tool here and I'm just going to have you put your um, chin up so I can see um, into your nose better. So go ahead and put your chin up for me. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't see anything of concern. Let me uh, take a look at the other nostril here. Okay. Okay. Uh, your nose looks clear. Have you had any problems with congestion? Um, breathing properly? Anything like that? Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, seasonal allergies are very common, so I'm guessing that's where the congestion is coming from if, you, if you're not having any other symptoms, um, like a cough or fever. So, do you take any medication when you feel your allergies coming on? Okay. Right, right, right. Usually, um, I mean, that's all you can do. I usually recommend the medication that you're taking. So you're already a step ahead there. Um, but other than that, if you're having issues and if it's um, interfering with the quality of your life, then you can always come back in and get a stronger prescription, okay? All right. So last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and check inside of your mouth or your throat area. Have you had any problems with your throat, like any pain, any redness? Okay, just scratchy from the allergies, I'm guessing. Okay. So, I'm going to use uh, this tongue depressor here to just uh, hold down your tongue. And I also have my handy dandy flashlight right here. So, I'm just going to be shining this into your mouth. So go ahead and say ah for me. A little bit more. Say ah. Okay. So I'm not seeing any redness. Um, everything looks normal, clear. Okay your tonsils um, aren't swollen or anything. Okay, 
So the last part of this part of the exam is just going to be testing your reflexes. So you've probably had this done before. I have a reflex hammer here. It's not going to hurt. Um, I'm just going to do a little tap on your knees and make sure that you have the correct reflexes working. I am not seeing any issues with your reflexes. They're working perfectly fine. So we will move on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to your pupils um, just to make sure that everything's working. So I'm going to go ahead and shine this light. We're going to do both um, a pupil test and also an eye chart test, but I'm going to begin with the light. So, if you just want to look straight at me, and I'm just going to test your eyes here. Good. Any pain when I'm doing this at all? And I'm just going to have you look at my finger here. With both eyes, look at my finger. Good. Now, um, I'm going to have you look at my other finger here. Good. So your pupils and everything are dilating great, reacting to light normally. Any pain in your eyes? Any um, problems seeing? Vision changes? Okay. So I do want to do um, the vision chart with you. Um, I want to use... I do have one in the back of me here. But I wanted to use this one. So, I have the vision chart here. Perfect. So, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you cover one of your eyes. And I'm just going to ask you um, to point to which way the E's are facing. So for example, for this one, you would point um, like to the left and so on. So I have my little pointer here and we're just going to start. Okay. So again, just pointing wherever the E's are facing. one. Good. 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 
try your other eye. Um, go ahead and cover that eye and we're going to do the same thing here. struggling to see that line. I think on your um, files, I did see that you um, you were struggling last time with that too, so I wouldn't be too concerned. I don't think your vision is changing. Do you wear any glasses or contacts? Okay. Yeah, so I mean, you could look into getting glasses or contacts if you're having um, issues or if it's affecting your life. Other than that, I think you're fine. Uh, I don't notice any changes from the last time that we saw you. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and listen to your heart. I have my stethoscope right here. And yeah, I'm just going to listen to your heart here. So... I'm just going to have you relax. And I'm going to listen for a few minutes, okay? Okay, so go ahead and relax for me. Good. Just keep on staying relaxed for me. Okay, so everything sounds pretty normal. Um, I did notice that your heartbeat is a little bit slower, and that might just be because you're dehydrated. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an IV, um, some IV fluid, uh, this solution. So I'm going to have to start an IV on you. I just have this hanging bag right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start an IV on you. So that way we can just get it nipped in the butt. Um, how much water do you drink usually? I'm just going to insert this. Okay. Can you just straighten your arm a little bit for me? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's been hot out, so could be just because it's hot and um you did tell me you've been working out a lot outside so that can definitely cause that okay i think i got the IV started here so we're just gonna let that run um, for the rest of the examination let me know if you feel any pain in your arm there is a needle in it but or an IV in it but 
I shouldn't be causing you too much pain, so. All right. So, now I'm just going to go ahead and listen to your lung sounds. I just want to make sure that your respirations are clear and not raspy or crackly. So, I'm just going to go ahead and have you breathe in when I tell you and breathe out when I tell you and just relax as, as best as you can. So, I'm going to be listening with my stethoscope again. Okay, so I'm first just going to be listening to the anterior part of your body or the front. So, go ahead and breathe in and breathe out 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 great now I'm just gonna listen to the back um, or the posterior side of you so the back of you on your back here so go ahead and breathe in and breathe out 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 so your lungs do sound clear um i feel like you're having a little bit of a hard time breathing is that right is that correct yeah i can definitely tell and you know sometimes just being at the doctor can be very stressful and it can cause our respirations to increase and it's just kind of a sign of anxiety so i'm going to give you some oxygen i have an oxygen uh mask here and my oxygen cylinder So I'm just going to attach this. And I'm going to have you take a few deep breaths um, into this. I'm going to hold it up to your nose and your mouth here. Okay. So go ahead and uh, breathe in and breathe out for me. And breathe in. Breathe out. Good, and just take a few more deep breaths for me. Go ahead and breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. Good, we'll do one more. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Are you feeling any better? Do you feel like you have more oxygen? Okay, good. If you need if you need it at any point um, while we progress through the exam, just let me know. I'll keep this on standby. Okay. So, the nurse did um, give me a note here that said that you were having issues uh, with your arm and you had like a scratch or a wound on it. Is that correct? Okay, what arm is it? Uh, okay, okay. Let me just see here. Yeah, it's definitely uh, looks a little bit scratched up. How did this happen? Mm, cats can definitely do that to you. I'm just gonna fix this up for you really quick. You might as well do it while you're at the doctor's. I have some tools I'm gonna use here. I'm gonna uh, stick this um, cold pack really quick on the area just to numb it a little bit. get my tools together. So I have my 
bowl here and some tweezers. I have two types of tweezers here. This is just in case. And then I have some scissors here. And I actually have two pairs of scissors. in here. Sorry if this hurts. You will feel a little bit of pain. I do some see some cat hair that's stuck in here, so I'm just going to try to tweezer that out. stitched up pretty well. If you have any signs of infection in the future, like redness or it's oozing or anything like that, please let us know and I can always go back in. I would say that you could take the band-aid off in about one week, okay? Try to avoid any water or moisture. Okay, great. So I did look at your chart um, and it does look like you need about four more shots uh, so you can be updated on your vaccinations. So I'm going to give you some shots. I know it's not the, the most fun, but it is important uh, just to stay updated with it. And once we do it now, you will have to do it for a few years. So that will be great. And I'm going to have you just relax your muscles. And I'm going to go, I'm going to do two on each arm. Is that okay with you? Okay, yeah. It's better than having four on one arm. So, I'm just going to have you relax. I have this syringe here. Go ahead and relax. That's one. And go ahead and relax. Do, do you prefer me counting? Okay, I'll count. Three, two, one. 
two more on this arm. I'll give you a little bit of a breather. Are you feeling like you can breathe okay? You don't need any more oxygen. Okay, maybe a little bit. Shots can make people a little bit woozy. Okay, go ahead and breathe in. And breathe out. And take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Okay. Just two more and we're almost finished. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Great, and now you don't have to get those for another, let's see, for another few years, so. Okay, so. So, based on your examination and everything that I examined, I am going to prescribe you some medication for your allergies, just in case you need it. And also some medication that will help with your shortness of breath and uh, your dehydration. So, I'm going to do that. Let's see here. I'm just going to write a few more notes down really quick before I do that so I don't forget. So I'm going to have you um, take the medication right now in office just to, so I can monitor any side effects and then I will send a box home for you so you can take it at home as well. So I'm going to give you two different types of medication and one of them comes in capsule form and the other one comes in like a liquid form. So we'll do the capsule form first. So here's your uh, two pills that you can take. Here's one and two. So you can go ahead and take those really quick. to do the liquid form. Give you the liquid form. So I just have this spoon here. And go ahead and take. So you're going to do two of these spoon sizes every day, one in the morning and one at night. did great at your checkup. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns, you can always call our office and to schedule another appointment with us. And I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, this box. This contains your medication that you just received. Uh, it's all in this box. So you can take it home. It's easy to carry. So here's that. And do you have any questions for me right now at all? Okay, great. Well, it was a pleasure to give you a checkup and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.